Good morning. We are live for the deep dive with Keeping Current Matters. It is Monday, May 13th. My name is Kate Rezebeck, and I am thrilled to have you all here with us this morning. Uh, as always, KCM members, thank you for coming back week after week to join us talking about the most important topic in the housing market. And if you're new to the deep dive today, thank you for, uh, for checking in, for following along. Uh, we've got a lot of great stuff to share. And let me remind you that if you're a KCM member, you're going to be able to get these slides in the member area. If you're not a KCM member and you want to download these slides and uh, check out the resources that I'm going to be pointing to at the end of the deep dive, then I definitely want you to go to trykcm.com. We've got so much to help you truly be the educator and the differentiator in this market. Um, and I say that because we are kicking off a very special three-part KCM deep dive series today. This is about what every buyer needs to know right now. You know, Every agent in this moment wants to be able to prove their value, to be able to step up and be different and separate themselves from the pack. You know, everybody has the NAR settlement, the lawsuits, and everything that's going on on the back of their minds right now. And it's never been a more important time to be able to prove your value in this housing market. And one thing that we firmly believe at KCM is that no matter what is happening in the market, rates are going up or down or what's happening with inventory or anything like that, the one thing that you can do to differentiate yourself is to be the educator, to really be the person who can explain what's happening in the housing market, to communicate simply and effectively with your clients, powerful insights, everything that we bring for you to be able to be that expert and to truly guide your clients through this process. Because no matter when someone is ready to buy or sell a home, they will turn to you if you've been that expert advisor for them along the way. So we're going to be talking a lot about exactly how to do that. The tools, the resources, the market insights, the latest data, we're going to help you connect the dots on all of this in this three-part series. So let me jump in and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this series over the next three deep dives is what every buyer needs to know right now. Think about communicating powerful insights with real value-driven conversations you can have with your buyers right now. So here's where we are today. We are talking about what every buyer needs to know about home prices. I'm going to bring you the latest on what's happening with prices. What are we seeing with the data? What does it mean for your buyers? And most importantly, how do you communicate that so they can make powerful and informed decisions? And you are the value add in that conversation. You are the person who is stepping up for them so they can understand and they can walk through this and really make a powerful and confident decision. So you're going to get all the data, all the resources. I'm going to point you to the tools that will help make these conversations possible. That's what we're going to talk about today. Then next week, we're going to come back. We're going to talk about what every buyer needs to know about inventory. We're going to take a little break for Memorial Day on the 27th. And then on June 3rd, what every buyer needs to know about the value of home ownership. That kicks off National Home Ownership Month. We're going to tug at the heartstrings a little bit um, and be able to really tie this in a bow for you. So following along with each part of this series, mission critical to be able to be that educator to prove your value in the housing market, your value as an agent to your buyers right now. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, what every buyer needs to know about prices, that's our topic for the day. Dig in, grab your notes, follow along. We're going to have some fun right here. So let me start with this quote right here from Bankrate. It says, buy now or wait. That's the question prospective homeowners have been struggling to answer in today's housing market. Home prices have been skyrocketing recently and the Federal Reserve's work to tame inflation sent mortgage rates soaring too. The combination has led many would-be buyers to pick the wait side of the equation. So what does this mean? Well, you know, plenty of buyers right now are asking themselves the question, should I really buy a home right now? Maybe they're pausing their plans because they're feeling priced out or you know, the constraints of affordability are really uh, making them question, should I buy a home? And then there's other people who are trying to kind of time the market. They're saying, well, I'm gonna wait for prices to fall. I'm gonna wait for mortgage rates to fall. And that can be a really challenging place to be. If you're trying to time the market, but you are ready, willing, and able to buy, 
Timing the market is really a challenging strategy. So what I want to talk about today is why time in the market matters more than timing the market. And these are the conversations to be having with your buyers right now. So for those who could make a move, you can help them understand why understanding what's happening with prices is really important because a lot of people are just waiting for rates to drop, but they forget about what is happening with home prices as home prices continue to rise. So let's dig into that because here's what people are feeling right now. Home buyers face the most difficult affordability conditions in nearly 40 years. This is from Jessica Louts at NAR. And let me show you what this means. Our team put together this graph that shows home prices versus affordability. So what we can see in the blue bars is that home prices going all the back, way back to 2012 have been increasing year over year. We talk about this all the time, how home prices continue to go up. And what we've seen in the orange line is that affordability is becoming more challenging. Knowing that affordability is that combination of rates, wages, and prices, especially if rates have ticked up over the past couple of years, we've seen affordability tighten. And you know that's caused a lot of people to press pause on their plans. For some of those buyers, we know that they're priced out and they have to wait. And buying is not the right decision for everybody all the time. But for those who could buy, they need to understand this dynamic between home prices um, and affordability. And so that's a really, really important distinction to make sure people understand what's happening with prices too as affordability tightens. So let's take a look at what's happening with prices right now. This is the latest data that we have uh, from three of the top entities that we follow. So this is February 24, year over year house price appreciation. So FHFA showing 7% home price appreciation over the past year. CoreLogic measures it a little differently at 5.5% and S&P K Schiller at 6.4%. So with the latest data we have on year over year home prices, we know that prices are continuing to rise. Now there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, there's that uh, more buyers than there are uh, homes in the market. We're gonna talk a lot about that next week as we get into the inventory discussion, but we're definitely still seeing prices rise. And that's something that we want to make sure our buyers understand because there's a lot of people, you know, one in four people still think that prices are going to fall. They still think prices are coming down. Uh, But what the data shows us is that they continue to climb. And visuals, the visuals that we can share in this really drive a lot of that perspective. So let's talk about how prices are also localized. We know prices are different in every city, every metro, every town. They're very localized throughout the country. But what we can see here is that price appreciation has happened in the top 20 cities throughout the country over the past year. It's gone up in each of these 20 cities. Now, some a little bit more than others, but what we have in common here is that prices are continuing to rise. And that's definitely something we wanna keep our eye on as we continue to go forward. We wanna keep communicating so people understand they're actually not coming down right now. And if you look at this in a month over month perspective, this is the the latest data we have from Case Schiller and FHFA. Um, Prices have reignited at the beginning of the spring market. If you look over there on the right, February, prices kicked back in. Now, what you can see, you know, prices tend to soften or decelerate towards the end of the year. Over on the right side of the screen, you can see November, December, even a little tick down in January. But that's typical for that time of year when, you know, the holidays happen and buyers aren't as active in the market. You know, all those different things happen at that time of year. But as the spring market has kicked up back in, the latest data is showing prices are continuing to rise. And we saw that overall price growth over the past year and even into the spring market. So, you know, we're really seeing that acceleration start to kick back in. It's definitely something we're continuing to follow. As we watch how the spring market unfolds, we go into the summer, all of those different things. But the overall theme, price is continuing to go up. And if we look at it regionally, price is rising in every region. Again, some more than others, but an average of 1.2% over the past month uh, throughout the country, and some even as high as 2.6-3% in the middle Atlantic in New England. So while prices are localized, we're still seeing that very common theme that they're continuing to rise. So this is really important to make sure your clients understand. If they're waiting for like, hey, let me just see if rates come down. We're actually, you know, if they're waiting for that, 
what they need to understand is that prices are going to continue to go up at the same time. And that's something that they can't change. So for those ready, willing, and able to buy, really paying attention to what's happening and looking at these visuals and understanding that dynamic, mission critical. If you continue to bring this data month after month of here's what's still happening, then you're really going to start to be able to connect with your buyers in the market. Now, what does Lawrence Yoon from NAR say? He says, astonishingly, greater than 90% of the country's metro areas are experience home price growth despite facing the highest mortgage rates in two decades. In the current market, rising prices are the direct result of insufficient housing supply not meeting full demand. So what do we know? We've seen a little bit more inventory this year, but certainly not enough to meet continued buyer demand. There still aren't enough homes on the market to meet the number of buyers who want to purchase them. That's what we're gonna dig into on a lot of the why behind this next week as we go into part two of this deep dive series on inventory, but definitely understanding that that is one of the key dynamics with pricing right now, under supply based on demand. Now, what does that mean going forward? This is where your value really starts to come in and making sure that you can communicate what's gonna happen going forward because the mortgage report says with continued imbalance between supply and demand, home prices are expected to keep rising. And so there's two things that your buyers really need to understand as home prices are expected to continue rising. What's ahead? What are the experts saying about home rising prices going forward so they can make those informed decisions? And then how you can help them. And that's what I want to get into here is what is the forecast for the rest of the year, the latest data that we have, what can we see going forward? And then most importantly, how can you make a difference? How can you be that value add to make sure that your clients understand exactly what's happening? Because some of these visuals I'm about to share with you, we update them very regularly and they are the game changers. They are the things that your clients look at and go, now I get it, that makes sense, let's keep talking. So let's start with this first one. 2024 home price forecast. We update this for you monthly because experts are always changing their projections. And what you can see right now is that if you average all seven of these together, um, there's about 3.1% home price appreciation projected for the rest of this year. So definitely not what we saw 10, 15% home price appreciation over the past few years, but certainly returning to a more normal pace. But what that means is that home values, home prices are going to continue to go up. Now, this is a pretty wide range from Freddie Mac saying about half a percent appreciation to Goldman Sachs saying about 5%. That's why we average them all together. So you can see kind of that difference of um, how they spread out across the board. Uh, but, you know, we started talking the year, talking about the year of the fives and how we felt that, you know what, I think home price appreciation is probably going to be around 5%. We're still seeing the signs that show that that is likely true and that we still believe that home prices will probably end up more in that 5% range than as opposed to the lower range. Now, what do we also know is, like I said, Experts continue to reforecast throughout the year. They look at the market dynamics of what's happening, inventory, buyer demand, mortgage rates, all those different things. And they say, what do we think is happening going forward? Well, what we can see from original forecasts at the beginning, going into the beginning of this year from November compared to current forecasts is that experts are saying that home prices are going to continue to rise and they're reforecasting up. Six of the seven of them have said, you know what? We see home prices rising. We think they're going to actually increase more than we thought they would. So really important information to get to your buyers as well as experts are saying the data shows home prices should continue to rise. Now, Freddie Mac is the only one that has taken their forecast and gone downward. Not exactly sure why they're looking at it that way, but they are still showing home price appreciation this year, just on the lower end. So what does this mean You know, for the rest of the year, home prices rising, but what everybody wants to know is what does it mean going forward? What does it mean next year and beyond? Well, let's take a look at this data from the Home Price Expectation Survey. This is from a survey of over 100 economists, analysts, experts who look at the housing market every quarter and they forecast out over the next five years, where do we think home prices are going? 
And what you can see in the latest release from the Home Price Expectation Survey is, is that experts say prices projected to continue rising over the next five years. So not necessarily um, slowing down, but um, rising at a more moderate pace, anywhere in that three and a half to 4% range, much more normal pace of appreciation. Uh, certainly, like I said, not the 10 to 15% that we saw a couple of years ago, but home prices are expected to continue rising. So what does that mean for your buyers? It means that sure, they can wait, absolutely, but homes are only going to get more expensive. They're not going to be able to go back in time and get last year's prices on next year's home. It just doesn't work that way. So buyers need to know that if they are waiting, it is going to get more expensive. Now, I know the challenging part of that is that a lot of buyers aren't ready right now. They're saving for a down payment. You know, they're trying to, you know, put all the pieces together. And that's where we're going to talk about how you can help in just a moment, because not everybody's ready to buy right now. But if you're the educator in these moments and helping people prepare for what's ahead, prepare prepare for what they want to do as uh, as they want to buy a home, then that's how you can get them ready. And then they turn to you when they are ready. That's a big part of communicating your value, those consistent behaviors of educating your sphere on what's happening and what's going forward. Because here's what's at stake that is a really powerful image. If you follow along with us, you've definitely seen this one before too. This is the equity that someone has the potential to earn if they purchased a $400,000 house at the beginning of this year. So applying that home price expectation survey projection to the median price home, $83,000 in equity potentially over the next five years. Now that's a massive amount of wealth, growth, net worth that someone could gain just by buying a home. The flip side of that is that that's the equity they stand to lose if they continue to rent. And again, renting sometimes is the near-term strategy for some people, but for those who are waiting, who are thinking, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens to prices, what happens to rates, this is what they could potentially be missing out on because someone is going to earn this equity. Someone who owns that home is going to earn equity over time. And I certainly hope that it's your buyers who understand this and start to make strides towards purchasing a home. You know, I wanna tell you a quick story about this slide. I was actually presenting um, just last month for a group in Portland, Maine. And I always encourage people as they're watching our presentations, like take pictures of these slides. You know, if something really grabs you, go ahead and take a picture, share it, you know, um, use it in your presentations, whatever you'd like to do. And so a woman in the back of the room took a picture of the slide and she came up to me right after the presentation. And she said, look, look at this text message. She texted it to one of her clients who she'd been talking to about renting versus buying. And this particular client, she said, look, this is the equity that you could earn over the next five years if you purchase a home. I really want to talk to you about this because I think this could be game changing for you. And that person texted back and said, wow, I didn't realize this. You're right. Let's talk. That's the kind of game changing moment that really tips the scales for you, for your buyers, for everyone in your sphere that you can educate to help someone visually see the difference that buying a home can make. They may not be ready today, but they can start making strides toward that. And I really want to encourage you to share these visuals. You know, we have some of the most action-packed visuals in this presentation today, and being able to share these out with your sphere as the educator, absolutely game-changing. And one of the cool things, I'm going to give you a little hint going forward over the next few weeks, we're actually releasing a dynamic tool with this visual where you'll be able to plug in the uh, home price amount and actually have it do the math for you on applying the home price expectation survey to uh, a price point for your market so you can localize it, you can personalize it for your clients. And this is going to be a really powerful one. So not out yet, but I'm excited to tell you that that is coming. Because when we talk about buying or renting, what is the alternative to purchasing a home? It is renting. 
you've seen this one before, but rent continues to rise year over year in this country. And that can really put a pinch on someone who's trying to buy a home. Um, you know, in some markets, we've shared with you recently that it may be less expensive to rent right now in this moment versus a monthly payment for purchasing a home. However, over time, it's that equity and that game-changing experience that we have to make sure people understand. If they understand it and they choose to wait, that is absolutely a, a fine decision. But your ability to be the educator, to help them understand what's happening so they can make a decision when they're ready to buy, that's, that's exactly where you want to go with these types of conversations. That's proving your value over time and being the educator in your market. Because I want to talk about what you can do. Um, you know, we've talked a lot about the insights today on what buyers need to know about prices. Prices are not headed in a downward direction. They're certainly continuing to rise. But being the educator and having that heart of the teacher is mission critical. As Dave Ramsey says, when getting help with money, whether it's insurance, real estate or investments, you should always look for a person with the heart of the teacher. And that's your role in this market. That is differentiating your value, is coming to these conversations with the heart of the teacher, how can you help? When you show that you are on team buyer and you can help your buyers understand that you're here for them when they're ready, and here's all the different things happening in the market that you can guide them through, that's where you become a differentiator. And there's so many different ways that we can do that. You know, um, I'm going to put a quick list up right here of today's buyer tips. You've seen us talk about in the deep dive very recently, um, downpaymentresource.com. Exploring down payment assistance is one of the best ways that you can help people realize what is possible. A lot of people are holding off because they just don't know what's available. You know, we talk about headlines that do more to terrify than clarify. People are pressing pause on their plans because it sounds scary and they're just not sure that they can make it make it all work out. But if you can help them in the process, whether that's through down payment assistance options, of course, working with a trusted lender, you know, making these connections so your clients have what they need to feel empowered and to feel informed, that is a, a big, a big ad for sure. There's a lot of other things that we've talked about in our content recently from receiving gifts from family, exploring multi-generational homes, smaller homes, new construction, condos and townhomes. Like you can go back into the KCM member area and you can see resources on all of these different things that are going to help you educate your clients. And staying informed through your agent is probably the number one things your clients can do. And that's up to you to get out there, to share this information, to have these conversations, to ask the questions and just get the conversations going. If you can be proactive about those conversations, you can make a difference for your buyers. And one of the greatest ways we do that, and this is one of the resources I wanna point you to today, this is how to be the educator on home prices. So for KCM members, every day we email out three things that you can use as resources to have these conversations with your clients. If you're not a KCM member, you can still go check out the blog every single day. Today, our blog is called Home Prices Are Climbing in These Top Cities. Great way to be informed about what's happening in the housing market. So then you can go and record a video about it, or you can talk to your clients about it, or you can share the visual that's in the blog. So many different ways to just use this as education for you as an agent to then communicate out what's happening to your clients. We also have social graphics you can see and uh, Real Talk script. So if you're a KCM member that has access to Real Talk, you can record a video with an expertly written script vetted by our research team put together for you with no technology experience required to record a video, put it out on social, text it out to your clients, whatever you want to do. We make it easy to help you have these meaningful conversations. And that's really what I want you to think about is how can you have more conversations. How can you talk about what's happening so your buyers see the value that you bring to the experience? Mission, mission critical to be able to be that educator. Powerful insights simplified. That's what we can bring for you. And that's where you can take these and run with them and absolutely be the game changer for your clients. Because at the end of the day, what do we always know? Most agents know what's happening. 
Good agents understand all of this. They understand what's happening with prices, why buyers need to understand that prices are continuing to rise. But it's the great agents that can explain it, can take the visuals from this presentation, can take the blog, the scripts, everything, put it all out there, be the educator, be the differentiator in the market. That's where value shines so clearly. And I want to take a moment uh, as we wrap up to show you what's ahead. I hope you got all the value out of today's conversation around prices, what's happening, what every buyer needs to know about prices, and know that next week we're going to be back with what every buyer needs to know about inventory. We're going to bring you the latest data we have on what's happening with active listings, new listings, um, all the inventory conversations you need to be having, the latest data to be able to inform your clients and the conversations you need to have about inventory so your, uh, your clients know exactly what they need to know. Thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to see you back here next week with what every buyer needs to know about inventory.